Hello guys, welcome back you to the practical session. Today we are going to demonstrate you on the determination of bulk density, true density and porosity. First, we will see the bulk density. The bulk density is also known as the apparent density, which is defined as the mass of intact soil in a given volume of soil sample. In this case, we are considering the avantrite soil sample with a particle diameter less than 2 mm. The bulk density is an intrinsic parameter which depends greatly on the degree of compaction as well as the mineral composition. Generally, the bulk density tends to increase with the increasing soil depth as well as the compaction. The bulk density is usually determined by using the core sample which is obtained by driving the metal core into the soil to the desired depth levels. Bulk density is a good index for the structural changes of soil and also it is a good indicator to identify the suitability of the soil for the root growth, root penetration as well as the soil permeability. Actually, it is vitally important for the soil plant as well as the, for the atmospheric system. Indeed, the bulk density is always less than the true density. Now, we will see the materials and equipment needed to determine the bulk density. This is core sampler. Hammer, wooden plan. Actually, we need these three equipment in order to collect the soil sample from the field. In addition to this, we need moisture cans, analytical balance, oven, and also desiccator. Prior to take the soil samples, we must know the dimensions of core sampler. We should measure the inner diameter as well as the height of this core sampler using vernier calipers. This is depth vernier caliper that is used to measure the height. And this caliper is used to measure the inner diameter of the core sampler. Now we will see how to take the measurements. First we are going to measure the diameter, screw out the equipment. Now it is movable. To ensure that it is the diameter value obtained, you have to rotate at once. Now it is rotatable. Screw in. Remove from the device and observe. The zero coincide with 50 millimeter. So the diameter is 5 centimeter. Similarly, we have to measure the height using depth vernier caliper, screw out. Now the depth probe is movable. Keep the caliper into core sampler and penetrate the probe as much as possible. Once it is done, screw it. Take the caliper outside and note the reading. The zero coincide with 5, so it is 5 cm in height. Then we will measure the weight of empty polythene bag and rubber band which we are going to use to take the soil sample from the field.
Now we have the two soil samples collected in two different locations at 10 and 20 cm depths. We will measure their weight one by one. And you have to record the weight. After this, we have to measure the weight of empty moisture can. Now I am going to set this device to zero because we are going to measure exactly 50 gram of soil sample that is to determine the soil moisture content. Now we have taken exactly 50 gram of soil sample. When you measure it, the weight obtained is the weight of the empty moisture can plus 50 gram of soil sample that we have obtained. Now we have to oven dry this soil sample to measure the moisture content. Bulk density is calculated dividing mass of solids by volume of soil. In this practical, all the measurements were taken in the laboratory and not in the field. This is the way to record data. Here, M1 is the mass of polythene bag and rubber band. M2 is the mass of soil sample collected in polythene bag tied with rubber band. Hence, M2 minus M1 is the mass of soil sample taken by core sampler. Moisture percent is the moisture content in dry weight basis calculated by using oven dried 50 gram of soil sample. BD is the bulk density. It is calculated by using this equation. Here, bulk density is the dry weight of soil sample taken by core sampler divided by the volume of core sampler. Finally, the average bulk density for each depth is calculated by taking several replicates in each location. Now, we will see the true density which is also known as the particle density. It is defined as the mass of solid per unit volume of solid. In this particular study, we are considering the true density as a specific gravity which is the ratio of weight of soil solid to the equal volume of water. When compared to the bulk density, the true density is considered as a well-defined parameter that does not depend on the degree of compaction, but it depends on the mineral composition. Usually, the true density values lies from 2.5 to 2.8. That is because the quartz with a density 2.65 gram per cubic meter is the dominant mineral that is present in soil. These are the materials and equipment needed to determine the true density of soil sample. Uh, this is the soil sample obtained from the field of interest and it is oven dry. This is distilled water, mortar and pistol. This is specific gravity bottle or pycnometer. This is seed with a mesh diameter of 0.25 mm, hot plate and analytical balance. Here we have oven dried soil sample. If there is any foreign particles or debris, we have to remove those stuffs. After this, take the required amount of soil sample into mortar and grind it very well. Now we have to see the well grinded soil sample using the sieve. First, take the weight of empty specific gravity bottle. 
then add about 20 gram of sieved oven dried soil into a specific gravity bottle Now we have taken 20 gram of soil sample, close the stopper, now take the weight, this is the weight of specific gravity bottle plus the soil sample. Now remove the lid of the bottle and add about 3 quarter volume of distilled water to the specific gravity bottle with soil now you can see the three quarter is filled then keep the bottle in a hot plate we have to boil the specific gravity bottle without the lid for about five minutes until the entire entrapped air is released. As it is sufficiently boiled, now we have to take away the specific gravity bottle from the hot plate. Cool the bottle until it reaches room temperature and fill the bottle with distilled water. After completely filling, we have to measure its weight. After that, wash the bottle properly and fill it with distilled water. Fill it completely and close it with a stopper. After that, take the new weight. True density is calculated dividing the mass of solid by volume of solid. As we discussed earlier, true density expressed in terms of specific gravity, where specific gravity is the true density divided by density of water. This is the way to record data here. P1 is the mass of empty specific gravity bottle. P2 is the mass of specific gravity bottle with soil sample. P is the mass of soil derived by P2 minus P1. N is the mass of specific gravity bottle with soil and water. M is the mass of specific gravity bottle completely filled with water. M plus P minus N gives the mass of water displaced by soil in specific gravity bottle. Hence, the density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. It gives the volume of water displaced by soil in specific gravity bottle. Therefore, the volume of soil is M plus P minus N. True density is calculated by this equation here p the mass of solid divided by m plus p minus n that is the volume of solid finally the average true density for each depth is calculated by taking several replicates in each location now we will see the soil porosity which is simply the percentage of pore spaces in soil sample or it can be defined as the ratio between the volume of voids 
to the total volume of soil. Generally, when we are considering a soil sample, it consists of soil particles and voider spaces into which the air as well as water particles getting trapped inside. Actually, the, these pore spaces provide conduits for the water as well as air exchange and also housing for the microorganisms as well as roots. There are mainly three types of pore spaces, micropores, mesopores and macropores. Among these three, the micropores is for the storage of water, mesospores is to facilitate the distribution of capillary water and macrospores is to facilitate the drainage of free water, aeration as well as the exchange of gases. Among the other factors, the porosity is determined by the soil structure, soil texture and the induced compaction. Generally, when the soil organic matter increases or the soil aggregation increases, the porosity also increases. A medium textured soil and well aggregated soil generally has the soil porosity value from 40 to 50 percentage, which is well suitable for the growth of the plant. Porosity is calculated dividing the volume of voids by the total volume of soil and multiplied by 100 as it is usually expressed in percentage. This is the way to record data. Bulk density and true density have already been determined. Hence, the porosity can be numerically calculated from those bulk density and true density values. Here, the volume of void VV is the total volume minus the volume of solid. The equation for N is further simplified Vs, the volume of solid, is related in terms of true density and V, the total volume, related in terms of bulk density. The equations are substituted and finalized as porosity equals 1 minus bulk density divided by true density and multiplied by 100.